Welcome back for another monthly participant video with Sunflower Hill. This month, we're featuring an art showcase. Enjoy! Chloe's happy personality and interest to try new things makes her so much fun to be around. Let's see what art she's been up to lately. Hi, Becca. Uh, this is Chloe again. Uh, and this is what I made. Um, for the art show. I'm the artist of this painting. Um, Becca, hang on, hang on, it's me, it's um, it's um, I did it by myself. Emily is always creating things in her spare time, but she couldn't choose just one. Let's see what she's got for us today. Hello, my name's Emily Woods and I created this. Art. I created this art piece. It has swirls on it and what I did was is I drew a picture on a piece of paper, then I cut it out and then I put it on construction paper. So it has a frame and then I colored it with crayons. I used different colors. And so I did an abstract, I did swirls. I created these dragonflies out of um, clothespins. And then I did this one, I did a flower out of paper. And then I did this out of clay. That's why my art piece is my favorite one is because I love dragonflies and they are pretty to watch and they fly around outside. Jennifer has always been outgoing, but as a new resident at Irby Ranch, she's making a point to help her neighbors feel welcome. Hello, my name is Jennifer Thomas. I created this Easter basket. I used um, a strawberry basket and different color of yarn I created this Easter basket because it would be nice to make for all the residents for Easter. Another Sunflower Hill artist is Robbie Houghton. And while he can't always tell folks or verbalize all he likes about art, here are a few pictures to help explain his passion. Most people who know Robbie Houghton know he is all about Disney and that he loves to paint and draw. He actually began drawing at the age of seven, mainly because he wanted to carry the pictures of his favorite characters with him. And at the age of seven, he published a book for his family of his artistic talents and his career was born. In the early days of the Sunflower Hill Garden, Robbie was asked to help others easily identify the crops that were planted by providing a text and picture on each garden stake so all could navigate the space easily. Since then, his garden stake portfolio has flourished. Probably now he's created more than 500 stakes, all to benefit Sunflower Hill and the Taylor Family Foundation. In 2014, he was asked to paint a utility box in Pleasanton, and that was a ton of fun. He had never painted something so big. The name of his utility box is A Sunflower Day. And just last year, Studio 7 Arts in downtown Pleasanton began selling his stakes. He was asked to be an artist in residence over the summer, painting his stakes outside of the store. He felt famous as lots of his friends and old teachers came by to see him. In addition to garden stakes, Robbie paints gourds, rocks, and holiday trees. Last year, he got a lot of help from local scout troops and woodworkers who expertly cut his trees in three different sizes. Rob's family is grateful for these volunteers as they help make his painting possible. Wow, what a talented group of artists. Thank you for sharing your art with us. For those of you at home, we'd still love to see your art as well. Share with us a photo of something you've made recently. We can't wait to see your creativity.